Asbestos are naturally occurring fibrous minerals which are widely used. It spreads through the air and can enter our lungs when we inhale. The person who gets exposed to asbestos, the time interval between asbestos exposure and disease is a very long period. And people believe that as the asbestos goes into the lung and into the covering of the lung, they damage the cells. And the interval is anything from 20 to 50 years. So basically the main mechanism is actually inhalation or what we call breathing in. Asbestosis is when the asbestos, instead of going to the lining of the lung, stays in the lung and causes damage to the lung and causes what we call fibrosis. Fibrosis means it destroys the lung, scars the lung and the lungs become smaller. As the lungs become smaller, the patient is gradually will find difficulty in breathing and eventually will die of respiratory failure, needing a home oxygen. The last one, which is actually the most lethal, is actually malignant mesothelioma. This occurs about 30 to 50 years after exposure. It is a very aggressive and lethal cancer. And this is the most feared complication of asbestosis because uh, there's very little promising treatment because by the time it's detected, it's very late and advanced. So it's very rarely that you cure this group of patients. The interval between exposure and symptoms is very long, anything from 20 to 50 years. To see asbestos, ex uh, asbestos exposure on an X-ray takes about 15, years, 15 to 20 years. By the time they get symptoms, it will be 20, 25 years. So many of the patients we see are in the 70s now. They were exposed in their early 20s and 30s when they were younger days. And as already alluded to, the main symptoms are shortness of breath because of water in the lungs, pain because of the um, inflammation of the lining of the lung, loss of weight and loss of appetite because of the cancer. Uh, unfortunately, the, there is no cure for asbestos-related diseases. It is, uh, the main cure is still prevention. And the treatment is just to prolong life and provide good symptom relief. Asbestos are found in materials that are commonly used for fire protection, heat and sound insulation. These materials are used in buildings, ships and plant facilities. Exposure to asbestos fibres can occur during handling, removing, disposing or disturbance of any of the asbestos containing materials. In Singapore, this may occur during renovation and demolition of old buildings. As such, an asbestos survey must be carried out before demolition or renovation of any building built before 1st January 1991. The first step to manage asbestos risk is to identify all asbestos containing materials. A competent asbestos surveyor must be engaged. After identification, removal can commence. Asbestos removal must be carried out by an approved asbestos removal contractor. All workers involved in the process must be properly trained. Notification of works must be submitted to the Ministry of Manpower at least seven days before commencement of work. On site, workers must observe these safety practices. Set up an asbestos work area. Set up barricades to clearly demarcate the area. Put up signs to warn of the hazards of asbestos work. The work area must include decontamination facilities consisting of three separate compartments. A clean area, shower area, dirty area. Before starting work, all workers must wear appropriate respirators and full body protective clothing. Appropriate measures must be taken to minimise the release of asbestos fibres or spread of asbestos fibres beyond the work area. These measures will depend on the nature of asbestos containing materials and the location. Only non-powered hand tools should be used. After removing the asbestos, workers must decontaminate the work area, tools, their PPE and respirators involved. 
Asbestos waste must be double bagged, sealed and labelled to indicate contents and hazard warning. They must be disposed of by a licensed asbestos disposal company regulated by the National Environment Agency. Working with asbestos can be risky, but by following the proper safety procedures, it is manageable. Thank you.